Morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Ooh, fine. <laughs> this is our first cruising vlog on Narrowboat Silver Fox. I can't imagine we would ever have said that. Seems so long ago, doesn't it? The thing is, I have a vision of what the vlog's going to look like. And the first cruising vlog was going to be like sunshine and all romantic and lovely. And <laughs> It's not gonna happen. As you can probably hear, it's absolutely belting it down outside. So we're gonna set off down the Stanley flight through the Liverpool link and into Salt House Dock. We're gonna film all of it from various different angles. We're gonna tell you what's going on as we go down there yeah. and try and explain it the best we can. What we're gonna try and do is get a really good guide together in this vlog. So if you want to do the Liverpool link, you're gonna be familiar with it before yeah. you do it. Hopefully. Right, we better get cracking. Yes, we had. Wish us luck. See you in a bit. Well, the Liverpool link starts just before the Eldonian village in Liverpool. It's right at the end or the beginning, whichever way you want to look at it, of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. So first we go down the Stanley Lock flight into Stanley Dock, then Collingwood Dock and Salisbury Dock. We turn left at the Victoria Clock Tower and down the Central Docks Channel. Through Prince's Dock Lock and Tunnel brings us past the iconic Royal Liver building and then we twist and turn through Cannon Dock into the amazing Albert Dock and finally to our mooring at Salt House Dock. As you come out from the bottom lock of the Stanley flight it opens out with this massive 170 year old tobacco warehouse on your left. It's just imposing, it's huge, it's the largest brick warehouse in the world and a developer is turning it into luxury apartments. The same developer has already transformed the old Jesse Hartley warehouse on the other side of the dock into the very smart and chic Titanic Hotel. It looks lovely. At the end of the dock you go under Regent Road Bridge. It's a bascule bridge, bascule being French for seesaw, and that's how it used to open, just like a seesaw. It was refurbished about 10 years ago, but you wouldn't think of it looking at the underneath, would you? Out of Collingwood Dock, you reach Salisbury Dock. It's got that Gothic Revival style Victoria clock tower or the Dockers clock right in front of you. At this point, you turn left into Trafalgar Dock Passage. So into the central docks channel, you'll notice it's been renamed Sid's Ditch. It's after one of the CRT volunteers. Uh, on the left, you've got an old dock wall running down one side and then a newer sliding slope on the right. So as you come down this channel, make sure to keep away from that sliding slope. Sid's Ditch leads us into West Waterloo Dock and there's loads of construction work going on here. New bridges crossing the canal link, old buildings getting redeveloped, brand new offices and apartment blocks rising high above the old docks. I tell you what, it's good to see so much redevelopment going on because there's literally hundreds of acres of derelict land. I mean, it's got great views. It'd be brilliant for housing and businesses. As you come through Prince's Half Tide Dock, you'll pass under the Causeway Bridge and then you go under the newer footbridge and the Royal Liver Building just kind of opens up in front of you before you enter Prince's Dock Lock. Coming out of Prince's Dock Lock, we enter one of the new tunnels built especially for the canal link. It's the St Nicholas Tunnel 
and I'll tell you what it's probably the cleanest one we've ever been through it's about 190 meters long brings us out at the pier head section of the canal right in front of that iconic Royal Liver building From there it's the shorter Cunard Tunnel that takes us under the museum and into Museum Basin. You get a great view of it from here too. We then go under Museum Tunnel onto Man Island Basin and that's where the last lock is on the link before Albert Dock. Out of Man Island Lock, it's out into Canning Dock. As soon as you move the boat to the starboard side here, you start to see the amazing Royal Albert Dock. So we take a left under the Hartley Swing Bridge and we're in that amazing Albert Dock. This place is just awesome. It's filled with bars and restaurants and shops. Obviously it looks a bit nicer when the sun's shining. Well, we're literally seconds away from our mooring as we head under the Albert Salthouse Bridge into Salthouse Dock. Quick bit of reverse parking, and here we are. We're not allowed to move otherwise the pontoon will start moving. <laughs> We're right? getting an audience up here. Sun's out. Beautiful. It absolutely belted it down on Thursday. On the way in here. It was actually a good thing because it tested how kind of waterproof narrowboat Silver Fox is because you always get little like snagging yeah. and leaks and things. You're fine. And it's absolutely fine but we're walking around watching for leaks as the rain's like well, hammering you down. I was. <laughs> you were chilling away. Uh, but it was a good test uh, but we've had to wipe her down today because she's covered in kind of little dust marks. Yeah. Uh, so she's lovely and clean again. And it's our last evening in Liverpool today. Saturday evening. Uh, we've had a lovely time. Weather's been like this all day today which has been great and I can't understand why more people don't come and use and more at Salt House Dock. It's, it's nearly empty. <laughs> There's like half a dozen boats here. And it's beautiful. It really is, as you can see, it really is, it, it's lovely. You get free electricity and there's water on every point too. It's really secure, it's gated and locked. Uh, not that there's any trouble or anything. No, there's never, and no. the views are just amazing. It's a lovely place. So I think we'll be back. Oh, definitely. <laughs> when we've been up the Lancaster, we'll come straight back. Probably, yeah. And that's where we're going next. Tomorrow morning, we're setting off back up the Liverpool link, back onto the Leeds-Liverpool Canal, heading for the Rufford branch. And then this time next week, we're going to do the Rivel link. Oh. And head up the Lancaster. No locks. Can't wait for that one. 40 odd miles of, of no lock free locks. travel. Sean's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs>
Hi, it's a glorious morning, it's Sunday morning, and we are just filling up with water, and then we're gonna head out into Albert Dock, just over there, back out on the Liverpool link, back onto the Leeds and Liverpool canal. Yeah? It's been a weird morning, hasn't it? Yeah, because a little bit of an incident. Woke up about quarter to six this morning, heard a loud splash. And normally you'd kind of look out the window and think, oh, what's that? But because I was yeah. half asleep, you just kind of don't know if you were dreaming it or not. And then about a minute later, I was screaming and shouting, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, about 30 seconds to a minute later, this bloke shouting, get out of the water, get out of get the water. Get out! So then looking out the window, and this, uh, this poor lad, wasn't he? A young lad, wasn't he? Yeah, about 20 ish. Uh, been dragged out of the water. I'm not sure whether it was to do with drink or drugs or mental health or what, but. Uh, not looking very well. So we are just about to head off. I think the water tank's just about full. We will yep. see you at the top of the Stanley flight. We certainly will. It's actually not a dingy tunnel, is it? No, it's lovely and clean. It's like the cleanest tunnel I've ever seen. We all have through here. Yeah. Beautiful morning. And that's the Stanley flight done. Four locks back off the Liverpool link and back onto the Leeds and Liverpool canal. What do you reckon? Fab weekend. Yeah, we're going to come back and do it again. Definitely. It's been great. And thanks to CRT volunteers as well. They've been absolutely yep. brilliant. 
I mean, a lot of the locks, most of, well, all of the locks into uh, the link uh, are kind of user operated, but the CRT volunteers were there on the way down in the pouring rain. In the pouring rain. And then back up today when it's been the opposite. Glorious. Lovely blue skies. So we're at the top of the locks. We're just about to head back east on the Leeds and Liverpool. We'll catch you next time. If you've liked the vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tick the notifications if you'd like YouTube to tell you every time we release a new vlog. Oh, you got that good, didn't you? There you go, practicing. Leave any comments down below and we will see you next time. See you later. So if you're thinking about doing the Liverpool Canal link, you do need to book it in advance. It is open every day between one and four, except for Tuesdays, but you do need to book a pontoon in Salthouse Dock. There's loads of information online. Just go to the Canal and River Trust Liverpool Canal Link Skipper's Guide and Information Pack. I'll put a link to that in the description below.